Hi, this is Corey with Wave Machine Labs, and in this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview of the mixer section in Aurea Pro. Aurea Pro has three different types of tracks that you could work with MIDI tracks, stereo audio tracks, and mono audio tracks. You could tell the difference between these tracks by looking for an icon just above and to the right of the volume fader. MIDI tracks have a small music note, stereo audio tracks have two interlinking circles, mono audio tracks have no icon at all. The mixer view has three different sections as well. The track section, the subgroup section. Every session in Aurea is going to have eight subgroups. These cannot be moved or hidden. And then all the way on the right is the master fader and the master section. At the top of each track, you can see an effects button. There are three different types of effects windows that you'll find in the mixer view in Aurea Pro as well. The first is on mono and stereo audio tracks. When you hit the effects button, you'll get the PSP channel strip. This is a professional grade dynamics channel strip built from the ground up by the team at PSP AudioWare, especially for Aurea. On the right of the channel strip, you will see four blank boxes that say none. These are your inserts to use plugins that are either native to Aurea, or if you see something in blue, those are your third-party apps available on your iPad that you can use in Aurea via inner app audio. The channel strip also features a freeze button to freeze in uh, your PSP channel strip and any plugins that you have into your track to save on CPU power, a saturate button, a polarity switch, and your mutant solo buttons. You can also then switch to a pan aux view so that you really don't have to leave your channel strip and you could do a lot of your mixing looking right at the channel strip. If you open up the effects window on a MIDI channel, you have that same PSP channel strip available, but more importantly, you have the real-time MIDI controls. The parameters and quantized features that you see here are all real-time, non-destructive, and most importantly is the instrument dropdown. So you have access to all of your instruments from the Wave Machine Lab's Lyra sampler, and the FabFilter 1 and FabFilter Twin 2 synths are included with Aurea Pro. And again, just like with the inserts, anything in blue is a third-party app that you can use through Core MIDI to use in Aurea Pro. And finally, on the subgroups and the master channel, you'll see a PSP master strip. So here you have an EQ, a bus compressor, and a limiter and you also have a brick wall limiter to use on your mix. You also have a mono button to listen to your mix in mono. And you can also have inserts on the master strip. Sticking with the master strip here for a second, um, you'll see that there are two auxes available on every channel across the board, the subgroups and the MIDI and audio tracks. There are in Aurea Pro six auxes and there's a toggle switch in the master section here on the master fader that you could switch between 3, 4, and 5, 6. Uh, in the master section, you'll have your returns for the auxes, and just above, there's a button that says aux FX, and that is where you could put all your different auxiliary inserts in. And just like with the regular inserts, you can use the native Aurea inserts, or you could use your third-party plugins via InterApp Audio. So going down each channel um, on the MIDI and audio tracks, there's the record arm button. If you press and hold on that record arm button, you actually get a pop-out window with uh, three different choices. You can get direct access to the input matrix from here. Um, you could set a record level. This is a software record level. We highly suggest that you set your gain using your hardware interface or your USB microphone if it has an included gain before using this record level. And then finally, there's an option for record effects. This is a destructive record that will record in any inserts that you have inserted into your channel strip. There is then quick access to the automation, to write automation and read automation. And then there is an input and output on both the MIDI and audio tracks. The inputs, um, you can have an input from buses or auxes on the audio tracks. And then your output, you can go out to the subgroups or you can go out to different buses um, or direct outputs from your interface. So incredibly flexible routing here to stay within Aurea or go outside of your interface to use outboard gear and then come back 
into Aurea as well. On the MIDI tracks, for the input, it is instead an instrument, so you have direct access to the Lyra sampler, the FabFilter 1 and FabFilter Twin 2, as well as your third-party apps to use through Core MIDI. And then the outputs on the MIDI tracks are exactly the same as the audio tracks. You can go out the master bus, the subgroups, buses, or direct outs through your hardware interface. Uh, one final thing to look at here are the subgroups. So if you're unfamiliar with subgroups, essentially all subgroups are is um, one fader that you could put multiple other faders on. So you'll see here in the example, I have a kick snare and overhead track. And for the outputs, I set them to the subgroup called drums. When you see your normal session, it's going to be called subgroup one. But if you go to the bottom of any subgroup and you name it, then it shows up named in your subgroups. So this is great for organization and quick work. So essentially I have all my drums, uh, kick, snare, and overhead that are all being bussed out to subgroup one. So you'll see if I hit the solo button on subgroup one, it solos those three tracks. And any movements of this fader on the subgroup will subsequently change the volume overall on the three drum tracks there. There's another option besides subgroups, which is called fader groups. And we'll get into more detailed information about this as well as everything else I've talked about in future videos. But right up at the top of the screen, next to the sample rate, there is a fader plus fader icon. If you hit that and you see it flashing green, you can then put faders in a group. And if you click anywhere outside, now these faders will all work together in a group and you can have many, many groups all working together. So we'll get into this in more detail, but that essentially is a complete overview of the mixer available in Aurea Pro. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And if you have any questions at all, you can always email us at support at drumagog.com.